Hello everyone. In this video, let us learn one very important concept called as storage classes. We have four different storage classes in our C programming. One is auto, then second one is register, third one is static, then the fourth one is extern storage class. Okay. Before going to the storage classes, See, once you declare a variable, for example, if you declare int a, one memory will be allocated for a. And where this memory allocated? For memory allocation, there are two places. One is the actual computer memory. And very limited memory is given in CPU also. Even that we call it as CPU register. Inside the CPU, there's something called a CPU register. In this, may some part of memory is given, but it is very limited. And CPU will be using that memory for doing other tasks also. So depending on these storage classes, the location of this uh, memory location of this variable A may change. But as of now, don't worry about that. Just remember that there are two memory location where normally computer memory is allocated. But in its few cases, CPU register can be allocated depending on how we are declaring. Okay. What is the use of allocating the memory in CPU register? See, when you, when you, whenever a variable is allocated a memory in CPU register, then that variable can be accessed faster, access faster compared to the variable allocated in computer memory. So our program runs faster when the variable is allocated in CPU register. But the problem is the memory in CPU register is very limited and it is used for other purpose also. Now let us start understanding these storage classes one by one. The first storage class is auto storage class. So how do you declare the variable using auto storage classes? You will declare like this. How earlier you were declaring in TA. Now you will declare auto in TA. Okay, this is the declaration syntax for auto storage class. What happens when you declare a variable called auto in TA? See, whenever you declare a variable called auto in TA, that, vari that uh, variable will be stored in computer memory, just like any other variable. Normal variable also, it will be stored in computer memory only. And initial value by default, if you are not initializing anything, the default initial value will be zero. Sorry, uh, the default initial value is not zero. Sorry, default initial value is garbage value. If it is a auto variable. And the life of the variable, the life of the variable persists until it remains in the block until it remains in the block in which variable is declared. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of the life of the variables will be there until it remains in the block in which the variable is declared that I'll explain with one example in the compiler. Here I have written the main function. And inside the main function, I have made a block here. Using the curly braces, I have made a block. Inside the block, I have declared a variable in the auto storage class like this, auto in TA. Now I am trying to print that variable printf percentage da. Now if you run the program, 5 will be printed on the screen. And just now I told you the life of the variable persists until it remains in this block, which means once the control comes out of this block, after the curly braces, this variable have no life. It is already ended here. You cannot use that variable outside again. For example, outside that curly braces, if you are trying to print the value of the same A, you will get a error. Because the variable ended here only because it is declared in auto storage class. Now, if you run this program, you are getting the error. Okay. It is coming as A undeclared. So that is the reason you should, whenever you declare it as auto class, the variable life persists until it remains in that block. 
Okay, so this is about auto storage class. These storage classes are very important for our placement examinations. Okay, so with this, I will end this video. Thank you all.